Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Marry My Husband episode 25, 26, and 27. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur like 50% of each episode. So if you guys want to read with me, it is available on webtoons.com. And for those of you who are interested in my Patreon page where I upload everything for the month of April, it is available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> oh yeah, this uh, they were drunk, I believe, and he went to go check up on her and they fell and they're like really close to each other, like almost kissing. <gasps> They're in the dark. Is that a moth? Uh, uh, ba -boom, ba -boom. Ba -boom. Uh, and she just showered. Marry my husband. Episode 25. Tick tock. Tick tock. She's still blushing. Uh. Oh. Oh. Uh. He's blushing. How is he so shy and so like, you know? Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. Oh, I wonder if Mr. Yu got enough sleep. Let's go down and have breakfast. He was so ready to get to go get breakfast this morning. I suppose I should go grab a plate too. Huh? The boyfriend should get the food. Huh? You asked me to pretend to be your Th that that was yesterday. You didn't set a specific time frame. Still, that doesn't mean you can just keep... Uh, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast, Miss K. Uh, Mr. Yu. You look like a dog when you smile. The dun. Did I read that right? You look like a dog when you smile. Who says that? If you guys ever watched like Love is Blind season 4, it's, it's brand new right now. And the girl was like, oh, you look like a cartoon character. It's like that. You know, one of those big cute ones, like a Labrador Retriever? That, that startled me. Oh, they got all the ears. A big, smart, sweet puppy. Oh, and lovely too. What am I saying right now? You think I'm lovely? Uh, <clears throat> what I mean is... <laughs> anyway, have you found a place yet? Oh, yes. Um, Hyuyun told me about this great apartment. She did? Yes. She said she used to live there. Ta-da! Look at the sparkles. This is the apartment I've been raving about. You can move in today if you want to, once you sign the lease. The place looks amazing. Thank you for doing this on the weekend. I need to move out of my house as soon as possible. I don't feel safe there. I'm so grateful for your help, Yuyun. What do you think? Isn't it perfect? There's 24-hour security with CCTV cameras installed throughout the building. <laughs> it also gets a ton of sunlight, has low maintenance fees, and a super chill landlord. They'll match your rent and let you move in right away. <laughs> Plus, transportation is convenient and you can order delivery from so many delicious restaurants in the neighborhood. Okay, okay. I can sign the lease right away. Right? Of course, I know a good real estate agency. Let's go. Um, Hyuyun, 
please don't tell anyone at the office that I'm moving. Can you do that for me? <laughs> sure, I think I know why. Minwoon Park, that jerk. Anyway, how did you know about this place, Yuyun? The neighborhood is so nice too. Dream Real Realty. Realty? Can't say that word. Ooh. Oh, my school was in the area. By the way, Miss King, which college did you go to? Oh, this is Miss Typo. Me? H University. Huh? You went to the same school as Mr. Yu? Oh, is that right? You never saw him on campus? The two of you probably ran into each other at some point. Yeah, probably. Oh, they went to the same school. Are they the same age? Ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong. So she's going to ignore my calls and just ghost me? Ding dong, ding dong. Is Jiwon seriously seeing another guy? Ugh. Who are you? A man. You're the jackass, aren't you? <laughs> are you with Jiwon right now? Open the door, you son of a bitch. Who the hell are you, man? Why are you banging on my door in the middle of the night? Dum -dum. I'm freaking exhausted after moving into my new place today. Uh, I have to apologize. I, I, I have the wrong address. I apologize. <gasps> who, who the heck is this beefy guy? A really beefy guy. No, no, wait. You moved into this apartment? W what about the woman who used to live here? Woman? <laughs> Matt, no wonder she ran away. I don't know anything, so piss off! <laughs> oh my gosh, I shifted the camera. Damn it, that was freaking scary. Juwon, <sighs> how dare you move out without even telling me? I should have gone out of the car that day and knocked some sense into her. Excuse you? He said, I should have gone out of the car that day and knocked some sense into her? He's a- then again, he did R.I.P. her in her, like, you know, her current life or whatever, like, in the past. Or no, not in the past. In the current situation, before she kind of went back in time to fix everything. Anyways. But my plan was ruined because of Sumin. The number you have dialed is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the beep. Hey, Juwon, when did you move out of your bar- out of your apartment? I'll forgive you just this once. I'll forgive you for being rude to my mom and for cheating on me. You won't do it again, right? I'll accept your apology, so just call. So he showed up at my old place. I'm glad I moved out of there right away. His tummy is growling. I didn't get a chance to have dinner yet because of the move. Ugh. Pork and rice soup? Mr. Yu, how was your move? I ordered a bowl of pork and rice soup for you since it's time for dinner. Ding dong. Coming. Don't. Uh? Mr. Yu? He is blushing. You said you like pork and rice soup, so. Did he come to hand deliver the soup? Did you come all the, all the way here just to give me this? Goody cat! Oh, oh my gosh, it's cat. It's so cute. Hello there. What's your name? His name is Pang. Oh, His name is Pang. Wait, Pang? Do you know this cat? He's my cat. He's your cat. Then what are you doing here, Mister Yu? Oh, I am. <clears throat> live next door oh my gosh of course of course oh my god of course his sister set this up what what do you mean uh, oh. <clears throat> i'm sorry i didn't tell you sooner uh, what Oh, Peng! You 
were too cute! I... Live next door. What? What do you mean? Uh... Uh... Um, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you sooner. Huh? What? <laughs> oh, marry my husband, episode 26. Why next door? Kyun used to live in your apartment. My one and only sister. And I was worried about her living alone, so I moved in next door. Uh huh. <laughs> Here, have it. Have this before it goes cold. Thank you. Did you have dinner, Mr. Yu? Yes, I did. <laughs> Goodbye, Ping. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> If you like, you can hang out with Pang for a little while. Really? Look at the toe! <laughs> then, uh, would you like to come inside? But, Mr. Yu, are you sure this was delivered? I think he made it. It is an earthen pot, and the side dishes came as sm in small plates as well. Retro's is in style these days. I heard it is a pretty famous restaurant. Uh, really? Huh? Does it taste alright? Uh, yes, it's delicious. It reminds me of my hometown. <laughs> this tastes just like the soup I used to have with Dad back in Busan. I'm glad. That you like it, Miss K. Oh. Yes, boss. I need a pork and rice soup delivered. From Busan. Sure thing. A pork and rice soup from... Wait, what? You need it delivered from Busan at this hour? He goes out of his way for her. That's so crazy. Thank you for dinner today. Hey, let's play again soon, okay? Oh, the cuddles! You can come by anytime to see Pei. Do you mean that? <gasps> then I'll drop by sometime. All right. Oh, <sighs> all right. <laughs> Miss Kang agreed to come over to my house. He is such a fanboy. I'm impressed, Pei. You recognized her right away. I guess you really like Miss Kang, huh? <laughs> then again, I'm not surprised. After all, she did save your life. Oh. A Mart. Don't worry, Miss Yang. We just need to check that the product is on the. We just need to check that the product is on display and see what the consumer reaction is. Right. I'm just nervous because my parents did so much for me while I worked on this project. You can thank them by getting a promotion. Let's go inside. Huh? Miss King, where's our new product? It's not just the new one that's missing. I don't see any UNK products here. Something is off. I'll go ask the manager myself. Hello, I work at UNK, UNK and came to check out our new product, but I don't see it on the shelves. UNK food? You have some nerve! Ugh. How could you show up here again after what happened? What happened? UNK. Miss Jion? Huh? Are you out of your mind? How could you just run away after making such a big mess? Ms. Yang, what are you talking about? You gave a customer with a nut allergy one of our samples that contained peanut powder. I heard you didn't even apologize to the staff properly. How could you not report this to me? There was a misunderstanding. What's going on? Ms. Jion ruined the promotional event for our new product and failed to inform me. What? Miss Jion, what happened? Uh, what do I do? What should I say? So that I all the blame will fall on Jiwon. I... 
Jiwon. I mean, it's because I was worried about Jiwon. I did, I did forget to tell the customer that the sample contained nuts, but Miss K never told me about it. I thought Miss K would get in trouble, and so if anyone found out, so I, Miss King. Miss King, is this true? Miss King, did you forget to tell her? The blame would always fall on me. While everyone sympathized with Suman, I'm so used to this pattern that it is no longer affects me, but I'm afraid I don't remember. Isn't this getting a little old, Suman? Just punish me, Mr. Yu. Just punish me, Mr. Yu. I'll take responsibility for Jiwon's mistake as well. <laughs> so please, don't be so hard on Jiwon. Miss King, please try to recall what happened. Do you really not remember anything? I'm sorry, it was quite a while ago. So, why don't we check the CCTV footage from that day? Uh, what? Since this was such an important project, I made sure to keep a record of each step in the process. Here, here's my USB drive. I definitely handed Sue in the nut allergy warning sign. There's no way I could have missed such an important detail. According to the footage, you were definitely informed about all the precautions. I'm sorry, I, I guess I forgot. Why didn't the two of you tell your superiors about the incidents? What? Well, I need to get myself out of this mess. A secret. Mr. Park said we should just keep it a secret. <gasps> Suman! He said no one would find out if we, if we kept quiet. <laughs> so I have no choice but to do as he said. I swear it's the truth. <laughs> Miss Jion, what are you saying? You came with me to get the man admitted to the hospital. You even went to check up on him. Damn it. She's pinning it all on me. God, I hate her so much right now. Is this true, Mr. Park? Uh, I apologize, sir. Since Miss Jiwon was new to the company, I tried to handle the situation on my own. So she has chosen to throw Minwon under the bus. Miss Jiwon, please write a report of the incidents and submit it to me. The same goes for you, Mr. Park. How could you stab me in the back? You know how much trouble I went through to take care of that mess? What choice do I, did I have? Mr. Yu only made us write a report after hearing it was your fault. If all the blame had fallen on me, I might not get hired full time. <laughs> full time? Please, I doubt you even get your contract renewed. What? You probably won't face any disp disciplinary action for this, because there's no need for it. I hate this company. So there goes just going to work my fingers to the bone without even making me full time? There's no way I'm going to go out quietly. I'm not going down without a fight. I'm going to take you all down with me. Hello, sir. I'm calling on behalf of you and K Food. How are you feeling? Oh, I just wanted to send you a little gift. I hate this company. So they're just going to work my fingers to the bone without even making me full time? There's no way I'm going to go out quietly. I'm not going down without a fight. I'm going to take you guys down with me. Hello, sir. I'm calling on behalf of you and K Food. How are you feeling? Oh, I just wanted to send you a little gift. Marry my husband, episode 27. I should be getting a call right about now. Hmm. Ring. Hello? Hey, lady, listen to me. <laughs> oh, did you get my gift, sir? Are you kidding me right now? How could you send me more peanut salad dressing when I had almost died from an allergic reaction? What's wrong? You love getting free stuff. And if you're allergic to a certain food, you should try getting used to it by forcing yourself to eat it. What the hell is wrong with you? 
Hey, where are you calling from? Wait right there. Why? Are you gonna come, going to come find me? Then come to UNK Food Headquarters building and request to meet with Assistant Manager Yuran Jane of Marketing Division 1. Be tap, tap, tap. Min one Opa. Opa, you should leave the office and go out on assignment right now because a bomb is about to drop. She is so crazy. Did Suman not come to work today? I'm not sure. I thought I saw her this morning. Who's Jua Jurang Yang of Marketing Division 1? That bit told me to come see her. Sir, please calm down. T take the fucking box away from me. Oh, I, I need to blur that. Beat that up. Wait, that's our new product. I'm going to see who's what's going on. Stop. Ms. Yang. I'm Jurang Yang of Marketing Division 1. What seems to be the problem? You're Jiron Yang? <laughs> what seems to be the problem, you ask? I almost died eating your salad. You sent me these. Oh my gosh. I didn't send this package. I think someone else sent it using your name, Miss Yang. This must be Suman's doing. Judging by the severity of the situation, I'll say she's thinking of quitting. Miss Yang, Huyun, get yourself out of here. I'll handle this. What did you just say? I came because you told me to, and you're treating me like I'm some thug? You little- Oh. This time, I'm not just going to stand by and watch. Please calm down, sir. Who the hell are you? Sir, I'm really sorry, but Miss Yang didn't send the, this package. Then who did I talk with over the phone? I will find the person responsible for this and have her apologize to you. <gasps> I also figure out a way to compensate for the damages you suffered. H how can you- how can I tr trust that you'll do what you say? I was told something similar last time too. Are you the person in charge here? Well, look up, Miss Kang. I'm the person in charge, sir. Please direct your co concerns to me. Huh? I'm Ji Hu Yu. The head of marketing division one. Why don't we continue this conversation somewhere else? Please come with me to my office. Huh. Uh, you should have done this from the very beginning. Are you able to get in touch with Miss Jion? No, and she probably won't come to the office anymore. But I'll make her show up. Tch. Who is that? What took Ji Hyuk so long to get down here? Those two employees handled everything on their own. You should head upstairs now, Chairman Yu. That's his dad! Chairman. Oh my gosh. Hair salon. It's so bright, my eyes are blinded. Oh, is a song? I don't know that song. Girls' Generation? Oh, I don't know. remember how it goes. Bzzz. Mom. Did you get fired? People from the company have been calling me. What have you gotten yourself into now? I'm so sick of this. All my mom ever did was take her anger out on me. I'm so sick of my family. So I can't... I guess where I see where, where her personality came from. Just wait. It's time to rinse your hair, miss. Okay. I'm going to live the rest of my life as a carefree pretty girl who spends a day pampering herself. Oh, just a moment. Yunho Bae. Oh my gosh, Yunho, it's been so long. Hey, Suman, how have you been? It's been good, what's up? I have a question about Jiwon and her boyfriend. Do you have time for a chat? Why does he want to know about Jiwon and Minwon Opa? Byom Chun Bar. Suman, over here! Dun. There you are. I had a hard time f trying to locate you. <laughs> I asked Yunho for a favor, because you couldn't answer my calls or come to the office. Th that's because I've been struggling with everything that's been work going on at work. 
You're my only friend, but you've been too busy hanging out with other people to even care about me. I got so depressed that- Suman. J just cut the crap. You're in serious trouble. This is your termination notice. The reason for termination is unauthorized absence from work. You'll also receive an authentication certificate soon. An authentication certificate? The salad with the peanut dressing. You're the one who sent them to the customer, aren't you? <laughs> How long are you going to keep bringing this, that up? I got so depressed I couldn't even go to work. <laughs> she always blames others, just like men would. I'm glad to hear it wasn't you. That man hired a lawyer, so now our legal team is involved. I got word after hearing that the legal team submitted your phone number to get your phone records. The legal team is trying to get my phone records? Huh? Uh, Jilan, now that I think about it, I, I did send a package. I sent a box of salad without the peanut dressing under Miss Yang's name, but I guess it got mixed up with something else. The customer called me and start, started yelling at me, so I got scared. Alright. I'm sorry. If I'd just paid more attention to you, none of this would have happened. But we still need to take care of the situation. So let's go to the hospital tomorrow and apologize to him. If this was an honest mistake, I'll help you. She won! Why are you doing this to me? <gasps> Apologize to him properly, Suman. Uh, why the hell did I have to come here? I don't want to apologize to him. <laughs> I I'm sorry, sir. Huh. You sure had no problem shouting at me over the phone. You don't look like you're sorry. Excuse me, honestly, I don't even re really remember that what I said that day. <laughs> You're the one who yelled at me over the phone. Why should I be the one to apologize? Zoom in! Pardon the interruption. Hello, Mr. Yu. Opa, please help me. What the heck did he... Uh, just ignore me? I apologize for all the trouble we caused. Do you feel a little better now, sir? <laughs> feel better? Do you know what that woman said to me just now? So that's how you're going to play it, huh? I, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been having extreme mood swings lately because I'm in the early stage of my pregnancy. <laughs> huh? Huh? She's pregnant? No way. No way. That was an amazing cliffhanger, okay, guys? I'm just saying, pregnant. Do you guys really think she's pregnant, though? I, I don't know. I don't... I mean, it would be great, honestly. It would be a great storyline to pull through because then Minwon will be in trouble as well. And, of course, their engagement or whatever with Jiwon and him will not, you know, continue, obviously. Even though he's just keep on ignoring all the red flags or whatever. And that's so interesting. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I will catch you guys next time.